So our enemies survived the avalanche. We must now ensure an end to their good fortune. Welcome back to the Tiger Hangout. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about the Super 7 Ultimates Storm Shadow because Storm Shadow is my absolute favorite character from G.I. Joe for a lot of reasons. But getting into this, I'm going to compare it to all this different stuff on here on this table and of course at the end tell you which is my favorite Storm Shadow. You might be surprised, but anyhow, we're going to get and take a look at this. Now, I'm not going to review every single Super 7 that comes out unless, of course, Brian sends it to me. I sure would, but... I'm going to take a look at this one because it means a lot. Let's talk about Storm Shadow Super 7 Ultimates coming up. All right, now he does come in this packaging, and he's supposed to have a slipcover. This one does not for whatever reason, but good thing I got two. Anyway, looking at there's the back, and I guess I got a little bit of a bio card on there for you if you want to read it. But the packaging's cool, it looks good. Going forward, I think there's no more slip covers, there's no more uh, brown boxes. And the thing is, if you wanna display it in the box, it's better. And if it didn't already come with it, then I don't feel like I have to keep it. I'm fine with that. Coming just like this is perfectly fine with me. All right, so here he is out of the package, and I have to say that I'll, I'll just be upfront with it. He doesn't have the articulation to properly draw the bow. And I know that is one of the biggest complaints about this figure or any of the figures that have a bow. So you kind of have to make it look like he's about to draw the bow. That makes sense. That's how it looks. And I'm not one that's a fan of all of the double jointed knees, double jointed elbows and stuff. But some people are. Some people really want to see that double jointed knee and double jointed elbow. And I do believe that breaks the sculpt. Most specifically with the Masters of the Universe. Aside from their loincloth being way too long, which I don't like on this Masterverse stuff, but when you look at the knees, giant knob knees, so it does double jointed, and I prefer a clean knee. So for me, I do prefer this clean look of the knee versus the double jointed, what it takes, but maybe there's gonna be better ways in the future to do double jointed that it doesn't have a giant knobby knee. The elbow from the front looks okay, from the back it's, you know, that giant knobby elbow, but. Some people love that, it's, it's not for me. So that out of the way, the bow, it's not worthless, it's just not something that's gonna be used exactly the way I would like it to be intended to use, but it is kinda of cool because they do give you this hand. He can, of course, hold his bow like so. You can put his arrow back here in his quiver. And can we fit all three of them? Because we should be able to. And there we go. Now. The bow be something just to hold, and I really haven't figured out how to stick it in the backpack, so I'm just gonna set it aside. I probably will have him holding the bow, though, as just something. Anyhow, getting into the figure himself, one of the other things, and we're really not getting into accessories just yet, but the fact that the, the Ninja Stars are removable, the, they didn't even do that with the G.I. Joe Classified, so I am very impressed with that. I like that they did that, so that is awesome. The look of this figure, is absolutely spot on absolutely perfect it looks absolutely amazing i love the very clean tamper graph right there i just love everything about the way the figure looks and i want it to look like it came out of the cartoon out of the screen now his ab crunch is significantly lower than some of the other figures that are out there so he doesn't get quite as much range with it but i think it looks good it looks better now i'm wondering if they did that just for the character if that's going to be something going forward not really sure about all of that but they also did include an extra arm for arasha kagi the arasha kagi arm which is kind of cool too and yeah i mean just all the way over he looks perfect down to the little the dent in the toe and the way the wraps are it just looks perfection on the shelf and i love it i love the way it looks now let's go ahead and get into some accessories and then do we really need to do articulation if you've already got one Super 7 figure? You know, it's all the same. All right, now he comes with a slew of accessories. And he does have the extra head, so he can be uh, going underwater. That's kind of cool. Interesting. So it's, uh, it's something that I wouldn't have expected, and that's kind of cool. Oh, and I popped this off. He has a slew of hands, and I'm going to show there's different things. Like, I believe this to be the throwing star hand which I have in his hand with the throwing star and he's about to throw it. 
which is so awesome. That uh, if you were to say that, hey, this figure's great for a lot of reasons, the fact that you have individual throwing stars and the fact that you have a hand, two hands, that can accommodate, that's awesome. This is the hand just for the bow. We saw that. This is just a standard gripping hand for swords. And this is the karate chop. Slice through the air hand. Then you have the standard arm. And I'm not going to put that on because it's it was not as easy to get on and off as I thought it would be. Fist. Uh, this So this kind of when you're doing the whole throw in the ninja star, this might be a good hand to have in there. And then this here for holding. And yeah, it's uh, the hands. I wish there was a better way to do it that you didn't have to have this many hands. But they do some of the same stuff up and down all that. But also getting into it, we have these nunchucks. And they are pretty cool because they have a real metal in the chain. And then he's got his nunchucks in there. He's got this sword. Now, I'm not sure. I haven't even tested it. Is this glow in the dark? It looks like it's glow in the dark. But that's kind of cool, too. It's got some colors down here, like some gems in the bottom handle there. And then he's got a sniper rifle, which it looks very cartoony. Very cartoony sniper rifle. Does sort of fit in that hand okay like a casual. He's holding his sniper rifle. Well, he's got his ninja throwing star hand on. He also comes with a small dagger. We're used to the vintage ones having the long and short sword, but this one also comes with a dagger. Dude's got a lot of stuff. And then, of course, we have the swords in the backpack, and the backpack is really cool. So here we go with the long and the short swords. Get them in his hands. So using the ninja throwing star hand, he can hold both swords. I, I like to have to where I don't have to swap the hands up, but I can swap the accessories and it'll still work. That's not the sword that really, the hand that goes with the sword, but anyway, great accessories, let's move on. If you insult my articulation, you insult my honor. All right, so starting out, here he is next to the original G.I. Joe, Real, Real American Hero from back in the day, the vintage one, and a fun school, which used the same exact mold, and the paint was different, and the arms were different. Really cool that fun school made theirs, but anyway, Looking at this, this was my favorite character because he was conflicted. He's a bad guy, but he was conflicted. I, I understand the comics he even switched over to the good guys, the G.I. Joes, for a while, but I just always liked him, and he always fought with honor. You know, it's one of those things that you understand that bad guys are people, too, and they feel like what they're doing is right sometimes, especially with this one, but... Anyhow, I like the character a lot, and I still do. Still my favorite G.I. Joe character of them all. And it all started with this figure. Let's compare Super 7 to Super 7. And I do want to say that I was excited to get the Reactions figure, simply just because I'm a big fan of Storm Shadow. But he does look clean. He does look good. Nowhere near the level of articulation on G.I. Joe. And then, of course, the whole discussion of Reaction is that you went backwards on articulation. So they went backwards from this, which was an amazing figure, to basically a statue, but a statue that looks pretty good. So I'll take that. And for the longest time, I stand in on my G.I. Joe classified shelf till we got our first Storm Shadow, even when we had the Arctic Trooper one, which I didn't really care for. This is the Rambo, the White Dragon Ninja, and... I like the accessories that go with the Black Dragon Ninja way better than the accessories that go the stupid, worthless backpack that's worthless, that's unnecessary. But anyhow, uh, it's still a cool looking ninja, about the same size as good old Rambo, Coleco Rambo and Juxa that made this one here, which oddly enough is a little shorter and they use different legs. But anyway, cool stuff. And then, of course, G.I. Joe classified. That's what everybody probably wants to see the comparison to. And to bring in the retro one, which I have not opened yet because I already have this one opened. I haven't been opening all my classifieds. I haven't been opening all my Super 7s either, but I will be. Uh, anyhow, the, the original one that came out was pretty good. I liked the classified one. I think they did a pretty good job with it. But in the back of my mind, I knew retro was coming, and it did come. Here's the problem, though. I never saw it in the store. And 
anything that was I never got the pre-order to it. And by the time it showed up, it went from a twenty two or twenty five dollar figure up to thirty on Walmart.com. Now I'm sure you could probably still track it down for in the thirty range if you're interested. So still thirty versus fifty five. It's almost half the price of this one here. And let's get a good look at the differences though, because the difference between the retro and the standard version are just slight color variations and some, most of the accessories. But as you can see, there's more real world to this. He's got more, can I get it to zoom? Well, I got too much stuff on here. It doesn't want to focus on one thing for some reason. But there's more stuff on his face instead of just being smooth like the cartoon and the animation. This has more to the face. And that's pretty much the way it is all the way around. There's just more detail on everything, every step of the way, all the way around on the classified. And this one is the smooth outlook. And the smooth outlook is what I want. In fact, down to the backpack looking exactly like the cartoon, which is another thing that I want. And we got kind of a jumbled mess of nonsense going on on this other backpack, but it does look cool and it does look more like what you would have in the real world, I think, I guess, for G.I. Joe classified. And I think that's what classified goes for over Super 7. And that's Super 7 going for the exact perfect cartoon look. They're capturing it for people like myself. That's what I want. But if you don't want that, you want the classified, then you want to go the classified route. And it's perfectly fine to like both one, the other, both. For me, I'm still sticking with classified too, simply because we're going to get more characters. But I want them to all oh, look this really good. All right, so this is my look at the Super 7 Ultimate Storm Shadow. I would never was a huge articulation buff. I didn't need to have double jointed elbows and all that kind of stuff. I kind of feel like on a ninja, it would have helped a little bit, but I still prefer the look and the aesthetic. So would I have rather traded off and had the double joints on this? No. Would I have rather had them maybe figure out a way that they can increase the range just a little bit through the molding, through how they do the arms and how they do maybe the head. If you could put a notch in the back of the head that he could look up higher. I mean, that, that should happen on the Silverhawks too. So those are the couple of things. This is really one where it does need more articulation, but I'm perfectly fine with it, perfectly happy with it. I mean, speaking of articulation, I also have this articulated ninja and I never opened it. So it doesn't look like Storm Shadow because I didn't put all the stuff on it and I never opened it because I guess I don't need it now. But anyhow, let me know what you think about this figure. What do you think about Storm Shadow, the Super 7, and the Ultimates line? Are you in on it? Are you out on it? Do you think it's cool that they had actual throwing stars that are removable? Do you think that it looks fantastic? I still kind of like Fun School a lot. Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe to Deerpanger Out. Fields you as well. Cobra! <laughs> Enemy should not be treated in this fashion. When next we meet, we meet as enemies. <laughs> <laughs>